Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Lurie here for episode number 25 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2015 series. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over gradients, which many of you have uh, known probably for a while. Uh, but gradients are those cool things where one color fades into another color. You can use them as wacky backgrounds or stuff in your icons. Or you can make gradients actually look very subtle and professional and use them in a lot of your graphic design layouts, which is like what I do. For instance, if you see on the bottom of this right here, this is a gradient going from a, a light orange to a darker version of that orange. So it's a nice soft feel that flows into there. Also back here, we have a gradient all right, from right here going from orange to nothing. So in here, obviously, are the wacky gradients, but I'm going to show you both. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in. Why not make a star and follow the whole tutorial? Hold shift while you make the star. All right, and okay, so right now I have a gradient popping in there. I just want to put black ink for there right now. Now, what you can do is you can come into your swatches. All right, in a lot of cases, you're going to have gradients that are that are, are already set by Illustrator um, that you can mess around with and change around to your liking. Okay, or again, we're going to come back to black. We're going to make our own gradient. Now, what you can do is you can pull out the gradient tab right here or window gradient and right now we're going to start with well generally gradients are in black and white so let's see white and black when you come over to your tool it's just gonna look like that all right so basically what it's telling you is you have white going to black and in your gradient again you see white going to black now I'm I'm gonna take this out so I don't keep going all the way over there and I want to show you that yes if we move the white if you see what happens on our little Thing right here the same thing is going to happen there same thing with the black all right mess around with this little slider on the top you can also click down here you can double click and add a change of color or if we back up we can drag color either onto it or into one of the little things that's already there all right we can also click one and we can delete it all right we can also take one and we can go into the opacity and we can make the opacity of the blue zero. So for instance, this is where you'll really see it. If you make a, if we make a rectangle and say it's black, okay? We're gonna block that, we're gonna put this on top, all right? Now what I wanna do is I want to take this blue out of here. You can actually also click and dr just drag down and it'll drag it out. I'm gonna grab this white and yes, I know I, I, I can make this white uh, black and then it'll, you know, start to fade. It, it'll basically show because we got black to black. But what I want to do is I want to click on this and I'm going to come into my gradient right here. All right, I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to click the white. And I'm going to take the white to zero. Make the black. I'm going to make sure that's on CMYK. I'm going to just make sure that that's 100% black. I'm going to pull that into there. Okay. You're going to notice as I start to mess around with this, it's actually going to fade it out to nothing. Now, this is what I do in a lot of my designs where I use the opacity to fade a color out to nothing in, you know, like a nice background or even like, um, you know, I do it on a lot of websites, kind of like what we're doing here just to make something almost look three dimensional. All right. So what we're now going to do is we're going to delete this box in the back. And we're going to pull out a couple colors. We're going to pull out a blue, throw that white away. We're going to pull out a green. All right. I'm going to make sure that opacity is back to 100. We're going to throw that black out. What's really cool is you can also take a linear gradient and change it into a radial gradient. Obviously, the green and the blue don't match. So what I'd like to show you is I'm going to take a new green and pull it into here. I'm going to take that same green and pull it into here. But... I'm going to raise the black on this green, all right? I can even go back to linear. And this is what I do when I'm working in my programs where, you know, I want a green or a color to go to a darker version because it's a very clean gradient. You know, when I did that blue and that green before, you know, they don't work very well like that. So um, if you come into the gradient area or hit G on your keyboard, you're going to notice that we now have our same slider that's here on the object. So we really don't need this at this point moment to be in our face we can now mess around in real time and you can see exactly what's going on 
um you can even rotate this all right on an angle if you want again we're going to open this up close this back in all right cool so okay so in real time you can mess around with your gradients you can also add colors to them oh, excuse me you'd have to actually add the color to here and then it would pop up on the scale and you can mess around with it uh just like so now you can also do gradients on strokes so i'm literally just going to hit i on my keyboard to the eye dropper which i showed you in an earlier episode i'm going to eye drop this blue right here so basically it's a blue to a lighter version of a blue and it's radial so it looks kind of cool we can make that radial in the middle a little bit smaller we can pull that up so you see more of a circle in there i don't want too hard of an edge and it looks silly all right so what we can now do is we can hit x to get to our gradient as i showed you in a fill and stroke earlier ep uh earlier episode in the series we are now going to come to the stroke and we're going to click any gradient all right we're going to make the stroke larger so we can actually see what we're working with and what's cool is in the stroke options under gradient you're going to notice you can apply the gradient within stroke along or across all right so now you're going to mess around i actually like the way this looks pretty cool all right, so we're going to actually take a darker blue instead of a black. I'm going to pull that gray out of the middle. I'm going to pull that white up to see what kind of cool effect we have going on here. All right. Not bad, right? And as you move a point, it's going to pull the same properties with it. So that's gradients. I hope you uh, got something out of this. Again, you definitely want to use subtle gradients like I did with the green to the darker version of it by just adding a little bit of black in the color um, on your designs. You know, I used to I used to do everything with gradients because I thought it was so cool and crazy looking and then it just really looked like, you know, very amateurish. So thanks for joining this tutorial. Let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts and ideas. If you have anything to input to put in there, definitely do. Please share these videos out. A lot of work goes into them and subscribe to my channel, Graphic Designer Tips, YouTube.com. All right, everybody, I will see you for the next tutorial. Have a great night. Peace.